Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the concepts of stereochemistry and chirality. The first definition that we'll look at is the definition for isomers. Isomers are different molecules with the same chemical formula. An example would be If you look at the formula for both, they have exactly the same formula, and yet they are very clearly different molecules. Now, one class of isomers would be constitutional isomers, and that would be the exact same as that example that I just gave you on the last slide. So these are constitutional isomers. Same formula, different molecules, and to be constitutional, they have to have their atoms connected differently. The stereoisomers are a type of isomers, so we're talking about still different molecules here, that have the same chemical formula, but this time they have the same connectivity. Now, although they have the same connectivity, they're different molecules, and we know that because they have different arrangement of their atoms in space. We'll go directly to look at two different types of stereoisomers. The first type of stereoisomer, known as enantiomers. Enantiomers are non-superimposable mirror images. So for example, if I take this molecule, and I encourage you to make a model of it, and we imagine that there's a mirror plane to the right of the molecule. So it's as if this molecule were looking in the mirror. And what would it would see reflected back at it? Hydrogen, which is closest to the mirror plane, then oxygen, same angle upward, up to the methyl. And if you make a model of both of these molecules, you'll see that they are, in fact, different molecules. But because they, are they're, because they are mirror images, they are termed enantiomers. The other type of stereoisomer is a diastereomer. These are the category of stereoisomers that are not enantiomers. So basically everything that doesn't fit in the category of enantiomers. There are a number of different examples of diastereomers. One type of example would be an alkene, in which one methyl group is trans to the other methyl group. On the left, in this case, the two methyl groups are on the same side of the double bond. So these are diastereomers. Other examples would be a case like this, where we have the hydroxyl and the bromine or on the same side of the molecule to each other. Two molecules that have their atoms connected exactly the same way, but differ in the arrangement of their atoms in space. So for example, here the difference is the orientation, the configuration of that hydroxyl group. And because these are not mirror images, and you can always double check that by using a model, we term these two diastereomers of each other. So in summary, isomers have the same molecular formula, but are different molecules. There are two classes of isomers. There can be constitutional isomers, so different molecules that have their atoms connected differently in space. Stereoisomers have the same connectivity of their atoms, but differ in the arrangement of their atoms in space. Enantiomers are non-superimposable mirror images. Diastereomers are stereoisomers that are not enantiomers.